Huawei's P20 Pro may be a new smartphone imaging champ. The folks over at DxO Mark have given it their highest score yet for a smartphone camera. And you'll believe it if you see the spec sheet. There is so much going on inside this phone when it comes to the cameras. We're gonna take it with its triple rear-facing camera and some AI master photography skills to test it on the streets of Paris. Huawei's zoom options really work. Not only is there a three times optical zoom with a telephoto lens, but the five times hybrid zoom is effective too. That last one works much better than I thought it would, a trend that will continue all through the day. Take a look at my picture from the P20 Pro versus the iPhone X for comparison. Check out the detail on these shots. Note how the P20 Pro can get much closer to the people right at the end of the corridor and still with manageable noise levels. Now about that AI camera, despite frustrating reliability and interface issues, I was still pleasantly surprised with the outcomes. All the detail of the photos was still in there and I liked what the software was doing to the photos. It's all very share friendly. These are photos that are pretty much Instagram ready right out of the box. Uh, with portrait mode, I could see better skin tone and stronger colors with food and flower subjects. That's not to say it was heavy handed. Take a look at this fruit comparison pick with my iPhone X. Note how the iPhone seems to have overly ramped up the reds and the pinks and the strawberry. The P20, however, kind of keeps things much more restrained and simple. Now, alongside all those camera sensors, there's also a new color temperature sensor. That's there to ensure your white balance, auto white balance is completely on point. And I think it's working. I've been taking shots with the P20 Pro alongside my iPhone X, and I think Huawei's phone edges it. I think their colors are a little bit more realistic. They seem to better approximate to what I'm seeing with my own eyes. Now, Huawei's Kirin MPU chip doesn't just help with your smartphone photography. Well, it does, just in a slightly different way, like this. I was able just then to take a photo in 0.3 seconds straight from the lock screen. Now, a day roaming the rainy capital of France wasn't quite enough time to test out everything here. The night before, however, was a great time to test out the P20's long exposure mode and night photography mode. The results are really good. Process heavy? A little, but no other phone can shoot like this with all this detail. Here's my best shot on the iPhone X for comparison. It just doesn't stand up to what the P20 Pro is capable of. Also, it was effortless. After selecting night mode on the P20 Pro, I could just point it at the Eiffel Tower and shoot away. The P20 Pro is a fantastic camera phone that's capable of images no other phone can replicate, but it's often very frustrating. The de facto shooting mode on the P20 is now embedded with lots of AI tricks, which is great when they work. During my shoot today, the phone often struggled to detect simple beds of flowers, my food, uh, people to change into portrait mode, and that's a bit of a shame because more often than not, those algorithm-based filters or settings often really made the pictures much better. I was particularly impressed with the detail I got on hybrid zoom shots, as well as just the sheer number of entertaining, fun shooting modes inside the camera app. Alongside monochrome shooting, you've got super slow-mo video. You have long exposure shooting for really rescuing your nighttime photos. And for those averse to algorithms and AI ruining their photos, you still have Pro Mode, which offers a huge array of settings for people that like to tinker with ISO, shutter speed, and so many more features that for people who really love to play around with their camera phone, they're gonna love them.